back everybody with our let's play of Sonic Colors. This is part 7. This is Blitz 24 and um, yeah, we're going to be taking on the boss. Anyway. So let me shut the hell up and let this cutscene play. Indeed I could, but I'm right here behind this generator. That's it, Hedgehog. Stand there and be a nice little target. Tails, is that you humming? So it's Tails as fast as Sonic. Much better than I could have hoped, and I only used a small prototype. Enjoy it while you can. Oh, I will. In fact, the only way to make this better would be to have you two fight. Come on, Tails. Snap out of it, dude. You don't want to do this. What the? Tails, buddy, are you all right? Where am I? Why is my nose hair tingling? Lousy, cheap alien energy. Huh? Ran out of juice. Well, I'll get more. Lots more. And then I won't just control one little punk, but the whole universe. In the meantime, enjoy the park. I'll leave you your own private tour guide. Pay up, Tails. I told you he had an evil plot, and coming here was a good idea. There it is, straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, we didn't bet. Dang. All right, so... Hmm. In order to earn an S rank here, which I probably won't be doing, you just want to basically bash this guy up as quick as possible until he drops one of the one of the whiffs. Basically, you want to use that whiff to tear his ass up. So if you get lucky, I may get lucky and get enough whiffs in time. If not, it is what it is. But it's always fun and enjoyable to watch um, to tear this cruiser or spaceship, whatever it is. So here we go. We're gonna use the laser. Booyah! He didn't like that at all. Oh shit! Oh yeah, get some. Uh, ah, ah, oh shit! Right through him. Gotta love it. Not too shabby, not an F, but I'll take the A. Hey Sonic, did you give the guide your complaint? Oh, I gave it to him pretty good. What's up, Yacker? <laughs> what the hell was that? Well, it wasn't easy, but yeah. Well, we know Eggman is going to use the energy he's stealing for a mind control. Is he weapon. dancing? 
What the hell? Do we know how Eggman is getting all these aliens? Yeah, yeah. At first I thought that Yacker was talking about how Baldy Nose Hair was using burps to do it. Hmm, he is pretty gassy. Maybe the smell would knock him out? I don't know, something doesn't seem right with that. That's what I said. It made no sense. Then I made a tiny adjustment and realized he was saying generators. So, no burps. Well, that's a relief. Tell me about it. So basically, Eggman is using five tractor beam generators to hold their planet in orbit while he scoops the aliens all up. Hold a whole planet? Well, it's tiny, but still, yeah. Okay, fine. Five generators? Well, I've already leveled two. So, if my math is correct, that leaves us three more of those bad boys to take out. Nobody said there'd be math, but I'm with you, buddy. But we should get moving. Yakker says the aliens don't have much time. Once I start moving, I don't need much time. <laughs> Mind control weapon will be full of energy I've siphoned from the aliens, and Sonic's world will be the center of my interplanetary theme park. They all reckon you'll be able to get yourself enough of that energy to take over the whole dang planet? Yes, I reckon I will. Where is your new voice chip? Got it right here, sir. Just need to install it. The think bones connected to the Talk phone. The talk phone's connected to the mouth phone. There. Good as new. Finally. I don't think anything could have been more annoying than that cowboy chatter. <laughs> Feeling ship shape with me new voice chip I am. I'm begging your pardon, Squire. But me and the are going to sail off and search for that lover Sonic. Arr! I think that's the wrong chip. Really? Are you sure he doesn't normally speak in pirate? On the bright side, he's much more exotic now. Just go fight him and fix that chip! <laughs> Shortly, I will have no need for those idiots. In just a few hours, Sonic's world will be under my control. When it is, it will be the crown jewel of my amusement park. The greatest amusement park in the universe! <laughs> I think I gloated so hard I pulled a muscle. Fat ass. Okay, so we're gonna work our way over to the uh what's this place called? Like a little cat, a big head big headed ass cat. But what the hell is that? Anyway, the asteroid coach, yeah. There we go, act one. Let's boogie. I really like the soundtrack in this uh this planet here. Let's grab some of these rings. And I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and say this now. Let the falling and the dying begin. Like this place. No matter how many times I play it, I just find myself dying a lot. Maybe not Act 1, but we'll see. Especially since I don't really remember the layout. So, get ready to laugh at me because it's coming. So that wisp we just used was the frenzy. And if you just take that over like I did to the springs, you can take this little I don't know if it's a shortcut, but hey, it gets you a red ring. There's actually another one if you jump to those red rings over there, but I am really not gonna waste my time. There's a third one. 
Wee! Oh shit. No. I hate this. Not only are the platforms small, but the upside down is just it's, it's unnecessary. It's not that hard, but Jesus Christ, it's nerve wracking! So like I said, there's going to be a lot of falling. <laughs> Get me out of here. And then they have these assholes just sitting there shooting at you. Okay, I'm gonna go for this red ring here. Shit! Oh, that's just tricky. Why did they do that? Oh my goodness, no! Oh! Oh, help. Help me. Somebody help me, please. Come on. Oh! Uh, third attempt. I got this. I can do this. I can do it. Yes! Get me out of here. Come on, don't miss, don't miss. Whew. Sometimes hitting these asteroids are tricky too because it won't lock on. It'll lock on like at the last minute, or at least allow you to input the the function that you want to do. But by the time then, you're already falling to your death. But like, I'm lucky to survive, survive that in, in you know three attempts. Jesus Christ! But I catch you guys for the next episode. Um, this is gonna conclude this one. I'll see you guys for part eight. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys there.